Hi everybody, welcome into this week's CBS Fix. As always, I hope you had a great week. In this week's Parsha, Parsha's Mishpatim, we learn about many of the practical Torah laws that we are supposed to live with on a daily basis. Most, most of those laws being laws between man and his fellow man, not between man and Hashem, but rather Hashem is very concerned with how we treat each other. And one of those laws is, is that if you see the donkey of your enemy, of someone you hate, if that donkey is crouching under its weight, it's carrying a heavy burden, you should, you're obligated to go over and help the person. Should you hold back, the verse asks, and the Torah answers, no, certainly you should go and help him. So this is a mitzvah, of course, not for the donkey's sake, but rather for the enemy's sake and for your own sake. And I'd like to explain as follows. We're not talking about someone that you hate, because a Jewish person is not allowed to hate a Jewish person. Sinas chinam, basis hatred, is forbidden by the Torah. So what are we, who are we talking about over here? We're talking about over here someone that you've given rebuke for or you've tried to reprove for something that they keep doing, a sin they constantly repeat, and they're not changing their ways, they're not mending their ways. Nevertheless, the Torah is saying, if you see that person's donkey suffering, you have to go over and help the donkey or you have to help the person unload his donkey. Why is that? And the Torah is telling us something very important about human psyche again, that... The Torah is afraid that if you're going to hate somebody, even when you're allowed to hate them, nevertheless, it's very possible that that hatred then becomes a personal hatred. It spills over into a personal hatred instead of staying limited to the hatred vis-a-vis -vis that particular act or sin that he keeps doing. And the Torah says we have a good remedy for that. The remedy for that is is that to treat him like a friend and pretend as if he's a friend of yours. In the same way if you saw a friend of yours struggling with something or an animal of your, strength, of your friend struggling with something or a child of your friend struggling with something, you would run to help. So certainly even of your enemy. And the Torah is telling you, don't hold back. Because by your holding back, you may allow your, pers your hatred for him to turn into a personal hatred, and it shouldn't be. In fact, the Torah, the, the, our sages teach us a step further that if one's enemy is struggling and one's friend is struggling, that actually the, 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 the enemy would take preference with whom you should help because hating somebody is a terrible character trait. And therefore, even if it's your friend who's suffering, it's more important that you should overcome that hatred that you have for that quote-unquote enemy and it's more important to make sure that that hate that you have for that person stays in the confines of the permitted hate than to, God forbid, hate uh, help the other person and maybe your hatred towards that other person becomes more personal and uh, Hashem wants us to keep all hate out of the, right, out of the way. Um, we have an obligation, of course, to love all our friends and that is what we have to do. And, as, and we show that we actually love that friend by helping him out, even though he's our quote-unquote enemy. Have a great job. Let's talk to you next week.